Kevin was with a wedding photographer and bridal boutique owner based in San Diego, California. And today I'm going to be showing you guys what is in my wedding detail styling kit and how I would style my own wedding invitation suite. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my entire wedding flat lay detail styling kit, which is quite large. It's basically in a tackle box. And I'm going to be going through all of the different things that I use. Some of them I use all the time. Some of them I rarely use. And then I'll be showing you piece by piece. And then I'm also going to be showing you guys how I would style my own wedding invitation suite um, from three years ago. I just had my three year anniversary for my wedding. And so I'm gonna be taking you guys how I do that. I would normally be using real flowers, um, but today I'm going to be using my silk flower kit, which is a kit that I would typically use if I know that I can't get real flowers for the wedding. So typically for a wedding, I will email the florist about a week or two in advance and I will ask them if they would be so kind as to provide me with what I call styling flowers. And those are where they give me anywhere from maybe seven to 15 flowers and some greenery for the day of the wedding. And then I cut them off at the base of the flower and then arrange them in the invitation suite and the details, things like that. You guys have seen some of these photos. I'll be putting some of them throughout this video, but that is pretty much it. So let's go ahead and jump right into showing you guys what is in my styling kit and we'll dive right in. All right, so this is the top part of my styling kit. It's kind of messy up here, but I've got a lot of little velvet pieces in here in case I ever want to do a sort of backdrop um, to put rings on and shoot them up close. So that's what those are in there. And then the rest of here is honestly kind of a hodgepodge and a little mix in here. I've got little marbled, they're probably actually quartz, but little quartz slabs here. Again, as little ring backdrops, velvet box in here for jewelry. So these are little acrylic pieces. They are different lengths of thickness, but you'll see me use these when I style my invitation suite. And these are to raise up little paper pieces or ring boxes, whatever I'm using to give some height and dimension to my paper pieces so they're not all flat on the ground. So those are my risers. I use those every single wedding. And then I've just got some stone pieces. Oh, I forgot these were in here. I will probably never use these unless I get a citrus inspired wedding, <laughs> but these are little um, plastic little citrus pieces. So that's kind of fun. Silver dishes. So these I might use if I was um, have, like if I had a really classic wedding and I wanted to style some rings on top of them or maybe put out a couple of different ones and put some boutonnieres on top. Um, I've got some macaron ring boxes in here. I've got my flower shears here, which I use all the time for weddings to cut off flowers. Like I mentioned um, that I will cut the stems off of flowers in order to style them. Ceramic dishes that I will sometimes lay a necklace in or some other jewelry earrings that are really long, stuff like that. So I've got three different colors. So moving on, I've got lots of different components in here. So we will go into this first one. I've just got a little black flower here. I will probably never use this, but if I had somebody who had a lot of black in their wedding, this is maybe something I would use to style their pieces just for something fun. Um, I've just got random little cards in here. This could be something that I could put as um, a backdrop behind a really up close shot of a ring. Same thing with these little leather pieces. And then these are my stamps. So whenever a, a couple hands me an invitation suite and the envelope doesn't have stamps on it, I will often just lay these loose stamps. I don't adhese them, but I lay these loose stamps in whatever colors work best. I have these separated out by colors. I will lay these on top of their envelopes and that just makes it look a little bit more interesting so the envelope is not super plain and I just like that look way better. And then if I have a wax seal, if I do not have a wax seal anywhere in the invitation suite, I will not use this little wax seal uh, sealer um, because it would not make any sense. But if I do have a wax seal somewhere, then I will throw this in the invitation suite to style it. My ring boxes. Next week, I'm gonna do a review of all of my ring boxes. So you guys will get to see that. 
Um, so stay tuned for that video, but I have tons of ring boxes that I use for my couples. I choose whatever color palette they have and I use those ring boxes. More ring boxes in here and then some ring dishes. So I will typically use something that either is the wedding color palette or is something neutral. Um, some of these I never get to use because they don't match the color palettes and they're a little bit more decorated but if they match then i will use them i will put jewelry in them rings are usually a little bit too small for these larger dishes so i will put bigger earrings like drop earrings or i will drape a necklace in here and let it hang off the edge and then in my last box here i have a lot of ribbon ribbon i used to use a lot more to spiral throughout uh, an invitation suite or something like that. I honestly don't use it much anymore. I'm just kind of over ribbon at this point in time. These are usually silk chiffons, um, velvet ribbons, things like that. That is my styling kit, everything that's in it. And now let's go ahead and style my invitation suite. So I have laid out all my pieces here. Um, just by the way, this is not our full address. So just safety's thing there. Most of the time I do not style horizontally. I normally style vertically, but obviously YouTube is horizontal. So this is kind of a challenge for me to style horizontally. So I don't normally do this. And I know I was just talking about um, how I wish somebody had a fruit themed wedding. Well, we kind of did actually have a fruit themed wedding. So I will be using fruit pieces in this. So I'm really excited that I can actually do that for this. One of the things that I also usually like to do is include people's rings in the wedding. So I will be making use of my velvet ring boxes for this photo uh, layout. So let's go ahead and choose a ring box. If we're looking at my kit here and trying to pick whatever matches best from this kit, if I had to pick one, this is hard because I don't have a perfect match. So when I don't have a perfect match, I like to do the best I can. Um, maybe actually this yellow. I think I like the yellow best in this. So I'm gonna get some risers out because risers give me dimension to my photo. So we always wanna have our risers because if I just styled this invitation suite completely flat like this, there is no dimension here whatsoever. And it's really flat. We don't have any shadows under here to give me any depth to my photo. So if I actually start to add in some depth here, that is a much more interesting photo already. Now this is not how I'm styling it, but that's just to say that there's a lot more depth there going on. And I find that to be much more interesting. And that's a tip that I learned maybe about two years into my career. And that really helped me start to elevate, literally elevate and uh, metaphorically elevate my pictures. Whenever I have an invitation suite that has an envelope liner, which is what this is, I always like two copies of the envelope so that I can get the front and the liner. So that's what I like to have there. So let's go ahead and start styling this. Normally I like to style around the actual invitation itself. So that's what I like to do. So I like to start off by basing everything around the main invitation. We can put that off to the side maybe. So I wanna start off by maybe having that about there. And usually what I'll do is I'll style first and then I'll come back in and add my, my risers later. There we go. And then I also like to think of what is my secondary card? So my secondary card in this case is going to be the celebrate card that tells me my other details. So that's what's gonna be my secondary card in this case. And then I also see that I have two main yellows that match each other. So I might wanna put those on opposite sides potentially. So that might be what I'm gonna start off by doing. So I might have those there. And then I also feel like this is such a fun set and it's not very classic. So I wanna have things potentially tilted different ways. I mean, we're gonna have lots of space to play with different items in here. So maybe we've got this building like this. Okay, All right. maybe I wanna fill in this like that. This going on here. And when I'm usually playing with trios, I like to build them in a swoopy fashion. So they're almost like making an S shape and I want them to help guide me through. 
So we're really guiding our eye here to the next place that we're going so that there's a shape going through here. So I do like how this is pointing down, leading me to here. And we can come up over and move to here, but I might actually have these. It really is very much trial and error on a wedding day. And this is why I like so much time for my clients to be able to build these out. And my clients really do appreciate these photos. And for them, they're very important um, for the most part. Not every client, but a lot of them, it's important. So they really do like that I take the time to do these photos. I think that the yellow next to the yellow is fine. I don't think it's really bothering me too much. Um, I think that it's okay. And I, I feel like it's not too bad. So now what I want to do is I want to bring in some stamps. So that's gonna be the second thing that I do because I don't like that there's no stamps on the envelope. So there we have our stamps and I still want a little bit more because what I wanna do is I wanna fill up this space a little bit more and I just, I wanna have something else here to fill in so that it's not so blank because I do really feel like it's just a little bit too blank in this area here. So now what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start bringing in my risers and I wanna rise that up a little bit more potentially because I want them to be a little taller than these guys. And I don't usually raise the envelope liner up, something like that, I, I leave that down and I don't want everything raised to the same height. I always want the main envelope the highest point because to me that's the most important piece. Okay, so you can already see that some shadows are forming and I, to me that looks pretty good. I'm gonna bring this in a little bit, maybe a little bit more on the flower side because I just think we need more flowers. So for my main composition here, I've got the yellows over here, the rings over here, I've got the flowers over here on each side. So if I had my husband's ring, it would go here. And then I've got the citrus flip-flopped on each side. So I've got my risers giving shadow and dimension elevation within the frame. And this is how I would work. On a wedding day, I have to go pretty fast, but when I'm working vertically, I'm a lot faster than I am horizontally. And then I just get tight pictures of each piece within the main frame, as well as the main frame itself. Um, I really love creating these for my clients. It's really fun. Um, I loved working with these citrus pieces for my own suites. This is a lot of fun to do. And I hope I get to use them for a uh, wedding for my clients soon. Um, but pretty much this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. It was a lot of fun to put together and I really enjoyed it. And I hope this inspires you for your wedding and I hope that you get really fun pictures of your own invitation suite. Well, that was my kit and my wedding invitation suite style. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to leave a like, comment what was your favorite piece from my kit. And then in my next video, I will be doing a review of all of my different ring boxes. So be sure to catch that video because I will be discussing each different company, why I love each different box. So be sure to catch that. There will be some coupon codes for that too. So you'll definitely want to catch that video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.